In this video, we will build a giant CNC plotter that can drop to 90 by 90 centimeter size pictures at a relatively low cost. One of the coolest thing about the design is that you can make the plotter even smaller by changing the rod's length. You will only need a few components and some 3D printed parts to build one of your own. You will find the link in the description below where you can download the files for printing and see where you can find these on online. It uses two NEMA 17 motors for the X and Y axis and an SD90 servo motor for the pen lift mechanism. The brain of the CNC machine is an Arduino Uno board in combination with a CNC shield and a two A49 double H double drivers. The level of the detail this plotter can output is quite good. Now let's have a look at our 3D design. It is a design based on the Cartesian plotter where the goal was to make a large one. Here we used the Beltray mechanism to move the gantries with the 10mm linear rods. So let's start assembling the machine. First we inserted the 1m lengthy linear rods into one of these holders and you can consider the rod length according to your drawing area. Then we inserted the 10mm linear ball bearing for the x-axis sliding block. To reduce the cost, here we used the two larger ball bearings instead of four small ones. Then we inserted the x-axis sliding block into the linear rods by applying a gentle push. The x-axis motor is attached to this part using four M3 by 10 screws and the free end of the linear rod is fixed to this motor holder. A timing pulley is added to the motor shaft by tightening the built-in screws. Then we added the idler pulley to the x-axis supporting and using M5 by 30 screws. Now we take a 2 meter long GT2 timing belt and attach it to the x-axis sliding block by looping through the two ends. One thing you need to remember is that the belt shouldn't be over loose or over tight. It should stay in the middle. Then we started screwing the y-axis motor with M5 by 10 screws and it will go over the top of x-axis sliding block. So we finish the x-axis. It's time to build the axis parallel to the x-axis which is actually the same with some minor changes. The only change is that we attach an idler pulley instead of the motor by using the M5 by 30 screws. It's time to connect these two axes with another two linear rod. Before connecting, we need to prepare the y-axis sliding block by putting two linear ball bearings into it. For securing the belt to the sliding block, we have used the two M5 bolts and some tip ties. We have used the normal spring mechanism for the pen lift using a servo motor. As the primary approach, pen lifting parts are designed to glue on the y-axis sliding block. Don't worry, you will get the updated version of the 3D model in which the pen lifting mechanism can be easily screwed to the sliding block and also the belt can be easily tied without any bolts and ties. So that's all about the mechanical part, then we can move on to the electronics. On top of Arduino, we inserted a CNC shield with the two A49 double A drivers. One for the x-axis and one for the y-axis. First, we connected the x-axis motor and then y motor and finally the servo. Then we secured all these things into the outer cover and screwed it to the motor. For powering up the whole system, we used a 12 volt 5 ampere adapter. So that's all about the electronics. On the programming side, we only need to upload the Gerbil firmware. To do so, download the Gerbil zip file which is given in the description and add this library as zip to your Arduino IDE. And we have already done it. Once we install the Gerbil firmware, now our Arduino knows how to read G-code and how to control the CNC machine according to it. However, in order to send the G-code to the Arduino, we need some kind of interface. So here we are using Universal G-code Sender to get the job done. After installing the UGS, first we need to control the Gerbil parameters. For that purpose, we will use the UGS setup wizard which is much more convenient than manually typing commands through serial monitor of Arduino IDE. The first step here is to select the board rate, which should be 115200, and the port to which our Arduino is connected. Once we connect the universal G-code center with Arduino, in the next step we can check the direction of moving of the motors. If needed, we can reverse the direction through the wizard or by manually flipping the connection of the motor on the Arduino CNC shield. In the next step, we need to calibrate the motors. Without calibration, you can't get the proper scale which we are supposed to draw. So we inserted a pen into the pen holder. For calibrating the x-axis stepper, we press the X plus button. 
Using a ruler, we measure the actual movement the machine made and enter that value in the actual movement field. Based on this, the wizard will calculate and tell us what value we should change the steps per millimeter parameter. So we have done the same in the case of y-axis stepper also. We didn't use any limit switches so we can skip that part. So our machine is ready for plotting. For generating the g-code, we used Inkscape software with some extensions. You need to add this extension for doing so. For setting our drawing area, change the width and height in the document properties. Then import an image, set your drawing style and generate the g-code. Before proceeding, please check your pen up and down commands are working properly. Finally, open up the G-code in the UGS and press the play button. These are the sample pictures drawn with this machine. Please subscribe to this channel if you need more DIY build tutorial like this. And see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.